This story will cover from then to now and next, all about change, how to turn losers into winners. Ecuador, South America, en route to what has been voted the best islands in the world. From here on the mainland, many years ago, wild species crossed the sea, as did another traveler in a ship called the Beagle. His name was Charles Darwin, and back in 1835, he found extraordinary creatures that were to shape his groundbreaking theory of natural selection. Today, tourists come by plane, more and more, to the Galapagos Islands on the equator. We'll bring the story up to date to see how good or bad is or could be the human impact on an amazing place with amazing wildlife. So tame, you can hardly believe it. Giant tortoises, hammerhead sharks, they may look tough, but their future is threatened. Are they winners or losers? Is increasing tourism good news or bad news? Will the national park fee that everyone pays really help? There are dozens of tour companies, both land and ship based. They tend to be expensive, with American style luxury, among some of the wildest, most rugged country on the planet. Since 1997, guests on the Lindblad Expeditions ship, the Polaris, have donated over $1 million to support a variety of key conservation efforts in the Galapagos. You must be guided, even showing how a seal hunt speaks. <laughs> Iguanas drape. And birds approach too, just like it says on the brochures underwater too. And then there are the boobies, the blue-footed ones. How commercial will Galapagos get? Even under strict guidance, will marine iguanas remain this tame as the blue boobies mingled with the blue shoes of a rich visitor from New York? This is certainly very different from his home city, and he seems to be getting his money's worth. Not exactly rugged, back in the floating hotel. And down on the beach, what they've come to see, the little heron and his breakfast. In the past, tourist pressure was carefully shared out, and certain locations and species seemed to cope well. Whether it was a flightless cormorant, sharks, or penguins. They were getting outnumbered by people. So how does the future look for the possibly overexposed Galapagos? Giant tortoises have seen many changes in their long lives. The famous Lonesome George was the last of his specific line. Today's tourists see the story on the wall, as are shown by guides, how Galapagos is changing how the Charles Darwin Research Station needs help to try and turn losers into winners, as alien introduced plants and animals invade, and how an increasing human population threatens what the press has called the best islands in the world. Let's hope they can remain so 
They'll need a lot of help from their friends.